de quererse como pocos del mundo se amaron ese fue su destino y su suerte para ya no seguir el pecado decidieron el pacto de muerte son culpables los padres más crueles que jamás merecieron ser hombres van por hoy engañando a mujeres y buscando a sus hijos Uh, right now, um, I would like to uh, ask you to please come to stage. We have the great honor of having Senator John Gadamendi here to say a few words for us. Senator. Well, Feliz Cinco de Mayo. It's a great day. Oh, you've got to love the culture of Mexico. The dancing, the music, the mariachis. It's a beautiful and wonderful culture, full of energy and full of uh, passion, right? Yeah. Particularly the passion part. Uh, this is the first annual Cinco de Mayo celebration here at the college, but I understand it will be bigger, but not necessarily better next year because it is terrific this year. It's a great privilege for me to share this day with all of you and uh, to really pay tribute to the extraordinary contribution that the Mexican culture has made to California and to America. Beautiful language and a beautiful culture in California would not be the state that it is, would not be as strong and vibrant, and would not be as successful were it not for the centuries of Mexican and Spanish culture in our society. We honor it, we love it, and we're going to keep it. Now, so I have the pleasure, Mr. President Laguerre, if you would come out, and the student leader, come, come, come on out. Now, and Arturo, you can have a piece of this too. One of the things that I really like to do is to make sure that there is recognition of the work that has been done to put together these uh, festivals and to make sure that uh, we all have a little something to hang on the wall of the office that would be a reminder and since this is the first annual single de mayo celebration fiesta de la comunidad there you have it Delano community college state trip 2012 that's my intention to see about, oh, I don't know, 20 of these lined up on the wall over the next 20 years, okay? So, let me give this, not to the president, to the people that did the work, the students. One of the most important things that has to occur in this community is to become registered and to vote. There are elections coming up. And a too little insufficient proportion of the Hispanic Latino community is registered and participating in the elections. So all of us here, wherever you happen to be, wherever you happen to live, you must begin to participate in the electoral process. What are you guys doing here for the Cinco de Mayo? We're here volunteering today. Wow. Um, and getting in touch with our culture, you know? Uh, so, uh, is this part of a requirement for the school? Do you need to volunteer for the school or you, it's just out of your own will? Well, today it's out of our own will, but we do have a 140-hour requirement of community service. Yeah, but we're both done with them, so we're just here because yeah. we wanted to be here. Well, thank you to come and have fun. So, let me ask you, um, are you Mexican? I'm Colombian. Oh, okay. uh, I'm Mexican, yeah. Mexican. So there you go. So I guess not just the Cinco de Mayo celebration. We, we're celebrating other other cultures today. Hi, we're here with Itali and Kayla from the Soul Group organization here at the Solano Community College. And we would like to ask you, what is what is Soul? Hello. Soul is the Student Association of Latinos. And it's a club here at Solano that organizes the Cinco de Mayo event. And 
encourages everyone to join. Yeah, and uh, Seoul is really important for, uh, for this area because we encourage all of the local uh, Latinos uh, to come out and share in this wonderful celebration. And um, this is the one event that we've been looking forward to all year round. And we've been, um, I, and I love to see this wonderful turnout. In so, uh, was this difficult to organize? How many hours do you think you put into this? <laughs> Probably way too many. <laughs> But yes. never enough. I just, I, it's always good to see that our hard work is actually pulled off, and seeing all the community unite together. And yes. we hope that this will be a tradition that will continue on. Yeah. I know we had ballet for Corico, mariachi, banda. How were, well, how were you able to get all that organized? Donated, or sponsors? What happened? Um, we did both. We actually called them and we asked them if they were willing to come out here and perform for the city. And some of them were really helpful, and they came out here. And some of them. I think most of them volunteered to come out here, so that was a good thing. Yes. I also noticed you have the Congressman John Garmendi and Consulate from Mexico here. And it, that's, uh, how did you feel about that? <laughs> we were more than ecstatic to have them come out. It's really an honor for them coming. Um, I know how busy their schedules can be, and, and seeing that they are supporting this, this culture is, is really important. Well, I want to congratulate you. Felicidades. Un feliz uh, Cinco de Mayo. Era muy divertido. And I hope to see you guys next year again. Thank you. Yay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much.